In this video, you will learn how to send an offer to the candidate for e-signing. Once an offer letter has been fully approved, the workflow will automatically advance to Stage 3, the Sign tab. If approval is not required, this happens immediately. Step 1. If the offer letter includes a company signature attribute, you need to designate who should sign on behalf of the company. The designated person will receive a notification to sign the document after the candidate has signed. Edit the message to personalize it for the candidate. Companies often attach documents and include links with the offer to give candidates additional reasons to say yes. Click on the Send button, which will email the candidate two messages. The first is a preview email to the offer so the candidate can reply to the sender. The second is the official offer with a link to sign the offer letter. The offer assignee will be notified once both the candidate and the company representative have signed the offer. Click on the Download Offer Letter button to download a PDF of the e-signed letter. This legally binding document will be very useful should you ever have to discuss or enforce the terms of your employment offer. Step 2. Click on the Hire button. This will open the Hire window. We recommend that you complete the following information. One, the relevant opening for this candidate. Two, the candidate's application date. And three, the candidate's first day of work. Note that if your company uses a talent management system, HRIS, such as Bob or Workday, it can be integrated with Comeet. This will automatically send the candidate information in Comeet to the HRIS and create a new employee profile. Step three, click on the Hire button. Once you've clicked the Hire button, the offer step will change to Completed and the candidate's status to Hired. Congratulations! You now know how to send an offer to the candidate for e-signing. Thank you for watching the offer videos.